Hello, and thank you for taking a look at our business plan specific for a real estate brokerage. Uh, very quickly, I'll walk through the document and I'll show you the financial model. It has an automated table of contents, so as you add content, these page numbers will automatically adjust for you. It starts with the executive summary, outlining the operations of your real estate brokerage. And all of the charts and graphs that you see here can be modified for the needs of your business. Chapter two is an overview of the financing and how you intend to use the funds you're looking to raise. Chapter three is the overview of your brokerage services offered. Chapter four is the industry analysis, which is current through this year, and we update this yearly. Chapter five is the marketing plan. Chapter six is the overview of your organization, and you can adjust this as necessary. The final chapter is the financial plan, which is done on a three-year basis and has a profit and loss statement, cash flow analysis, balance sheet, break-even analysis and business ratios, and then in year one we break down the profit and loss monthly, and it's quarterly for year two, and quarterly for year three, and the same with the cash flow analysis, broken down monthly for the first year, quarterly for year two, and quarterly for year three. Let me just scroll back up. And here's the financial model. Very easy to use. Pretty much everything is done in this one tab. Uh, right off the bat, you may have noticed uh, this dashboard here. This lets you see in real time any changes that you're making and how to impact all your other statements. So for instance, let's change the first month brokering fees to 80,000. As you can see, the dashboard automatically updated and that occurred throughout everything else as well. Uh, again, this way you can uh, test out different scenarios. Your expenses go here so you can take a look at different expense profiles and how they impact all of this and there's additional line items for revenue streams uh, as you should need them from there you put in the salaries here the head count there and out comes your payroll table your source of funds and use of funds goes here and once you do that out comes your profit and loss cash flow analysis balance sheet those expanded profit and loss statements you saw at the end of the plan same with the cash flow analysis your revenue overview loan amortization table, tax assumptions, break even, and your business ratios. And that's essentially it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach us anytime. We're more than happy to help. And thank you for taking a look.